Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, and today I'm going to be unboxing, you guessed it, a 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro. As most of you already know, a couple weeks ago I uploaded a new video called The Top 5 Things That I Wanted For Christmas, and in that video that included getting one of these as the number one thing that I wanted for Christmas. So one thing that I didn't tell you in that video is that actually a couple days before that video was made, I have been saving up for a MacBook Pro for the past year, and so I decided to buy myself one for Christmas. And so it came before Christmas, and so, yeah, now let's get to the unboxing. Now, as I said before, I have the MacBook Pro 15-inch model, and this happens to be the base model, which retails for $2,000. And the specs that it comes with is an Intel i7 2.2 GHz CPU, 18 GB of RAM, 256 GB of flash storage, and the brand new Force Touch trackpad. So after taking the plastic off the box, inside the box you'll obviously find the MacBook Pro itself, which I'll just set aside for right now. The MagSafe power adapter, which the MacBook Pro thankfully uses instead of the USB-C, which is found on the new MacBook. Also, it includes an extension cord for the power adapter, which is extremely handy if you're not within six feet of an outlet. And last but not least, you'll find the user's guide, two white Apple stickers, and a microfiber cloth for cleaning the screen. Now let's take a look at the MacBook Pro, but not after first peeling off the oddly satisfying plastic that the MacBook Pro is in. From there we'll open it up and remove the paper that keeps the keyboard from scratching the screen during shipping. So for I.O. you'll find most of the ports on the left side, which includes the magnetic charging port, two Thunderbolt ports, a USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, and on the right side you'll find an SD card slot, HDMI port, and another USB port. So now that we've gotten all the I.O. out of the way, let's get to powering this beast on. Now this MacBook Pro is definitely fast, which I'll cover later, but the thing that I'm most excited to try out is the new Force Touch trackpad, which gives you what Apple calls haptic feedback, aka the feeling of a click. And along with the new feel, it gives you a variety of new functions, such as the ability to force click on a file to preview it. Also, if you're watching a video in QuickTime, you can now fast forward and reverse at different speeds by applying different amounts of pressure. And another example is you can now click on any text for a definition. So after powering up the MacBook Pro and going through the initial setup, you're then presented with the desktop. Display-wise, this 15-inch model has a retina display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800 which means this screen looks stunning, especially when watching 4K videos and when looking at high-resolution photos. As far as the speed, Geekbench 3 shows a speed of 3107 as a single-core score and 11729 as the multi-core score. And along with Geekbench, I downloaded Blackmagic Disk Speed Test and found speeds past 1200 megabytes per second on the read side and a little over 1800 megabits per second on the write side. So if you're a person who is considering buying this for editing or any other work that requires fast internal storage, this will definitely be for you. Anyways guys, that about wraps up this video. If you're wanting to see a review of this laptop, make sure to comment down below. And if you liked this video and you want more tech videos like this, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, then you can dislike it. Anyways guys, until next time, peace.